Hey guys, I'm Joe Banks from World of X-Ray. What happens after you make your selections on the control panel and hit the exposure button? It is the X-Ray circuit's job to relay what you want to the tube and make it happen. I do recommend turning on the captions by clicking the CC button on the bottom right. So on the left here, we have the control console section. Main power is maintained at 220 volts by this line compensator and goes to the auto transformer where the major and minimum KVP are selected through self-induction. Now as you can see there are tabs on the secondary side of this auto transformer. Voltage is reduced by using the ones near the middle and increased by using the tabs on the outer ends. Power coming from the secondary side of the auto transformer then passes through the KVP meter and timing circuit which control the length of the exposure. At the high voltage step up transformer, voltage is increased by a factor of about 500 to kilovolts and amperage is reduced. Unlike the auto transformer, the step up transformer operates on mutual induction. On the secondary side of this step up transformer is the amp meter which reads current after the exposure. It is safely connected to an area that has no voltage. From the step up transformer, power reaches the rectifiers which convert AC alternating current to DC direct current to maintain electrons flowing in one direction from cathode to anode. Rectifiers are semiconductor solid state PN junction diodes. Half wave and self rectified systems work by not conducting during the negative portion of AC current. This method is very inefficient because half of the power is wasted. Full wave rectified reverses the negative half cycle so that the anode is always positive. The exposure time for a given technique is cut in half. Although full wave is a step up in efficiency, it still contains a 100% voltage ripple where voltage gets down to zero at times. X-rays produced when the voltage is near zero have little penetrability and have a low diagnostic value. Three-phase power solves this issue by overlapping waves in a way that when one is losing voltage, the other one is peaking. So power never drops more than 14%. High frequency generators attain less than 1% ripple and are used in MAMO and CT. Now back to the auto transformer. On the filament circuit, secondary power from the auto transformer goes to the rheostat which is an MA selector attached to the focal spot selector. Low MA associates with small focal spot and high MA with large focal spot. The step down transformer reduces voltage from the rheostat before heating up the filament to create thermionic emission. Those electrons are fired off to the positively charged anode creating Bremsalong or characteristic radiation. So in summary, just a few points here. The kilovoltage applied to the tube creates a large positive charge on the anode. The filament circuit creates a cloud of electrons through thermionic emission. The electrons are attracted to the anode target giving them immense kinetic energy. The step up transformer operates on mutual induction and increases voltage to kilovolts. Rectifiers convert AC current to DC because we only want the electrons traveling from cathode to anode. And lastly, single phase generators include half wave and full wave rectification but both have 100% voltage ripple. I hope this video helps if, uh, if you enjoyed it. If you like the content of this channel, uh, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.